Welcome to the newbies. You have uh, a lot of responsibilities ahead of you. Uh, but uh, tonight, I, I'm here before you with a request that council reevaluates the current landlord ordinance. I would assume that the purpose of this type of ordinance is to make sure that the rental units in the city are up to code for safety reasons and to protect the rights of landlords, tenants, and neighbors. The ultimate goal being that all units are registered and determined to be safe. The current ordinance discourages participation by landlords because of the following reasons. Number one, unconstitutional inspections. Wilkes-Barre is currently making tenants second-class citizens. The Fourth Amendment states the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. The current ordinance violates the rights of tenants by submitting them to biannual inspections without probable cause. If we allow the city this violation of rights against tenants, then we will be allowing them to violate all of the people's rights to privacy. Inspect before a new tenant moves in. Inspect <coughs> when a tenant or landlord requests. <coughs> Number two, excessive fees imposed. On December 5th, I came to City Hall and signed up for an inspection. It is its own one unit, so it needed an inspection before the end of 2011. And a new tenant was moving in. On December 8th, I received a notice of violation for $1,000. So in trying to comply, I am punished. The unit was inspected on December 9th by both the plumbing inspector and the rental inspector and passed. Uh, and I know of no other landlord that this receives this type of royal treatment by getting two city inspectors in one day. Uh, this unit had also re recently passed its yearly inspection by the housing authority. I received no notice from the city that an inspection was due in 2010. So the way it's set up now is that no notices are sent out. Now, if the state can handle it, I would think the city would be able to handle it. Um, I always receive notice from the housing authority. Inspections by the housing authority are justified because the state and federal monies are used to subsidize the rental. So ask yourself, what landlord will attempt to comply with an ordinance that does not serve the goals mentioned above, but for all appearances looks like a money-making scheme that will only punish those stupid enough to sign up for it in the first place? The Eighth Amendment states, excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Maybe $1,000 isn't excessive to you, but it sure is to me. One minute. Petition for hearing. In Wilkes-Barre, to have a hearing in front of the Code of Enforcement, Board of Appeals, I'm being told that I must pay a $100 non-refundable fee. The First Amendment states that I have the right to petition the government for redress of grievances. Nowhere in our Constitution does it state that I must pay to do so. The paper handed me in the inspections office when I questioned the fees does not state that it is non-refundable. I was told I should assume that it is. I assume that it isn't. Congressman Ron Paul stated it very eloquently when he said, the Constitution was written very precisely to restrain the power and force of government and to protect the liberties of each and every one of us. He also stated that a true patriot is motivated by a sense of responsibility and out of self-interest for himself, his family, and the future of his country to resist government abuse of power. I am resisting and will continue to resist the city government's abuse of power. I will not submit to your violating my rights or the rights of others. Please consider changes to the landlord ordinance so that it is, its intention goals can be achieved. Thank you very much.